All right, I'm here at Tommy Tofu in the Market City Shopping Center with my friend T. And uh, we're gonna try it out. It's like a brand new hot pot place. They have a place in Ward, but that's more ramen. Mm -hmm. And then I did some research. There's actually two uh, restaurants in Japan. Really? Yeah, so it's an actually Japanese-based place. So um, right now it's a soft opening. They only have lemonade and soft drinks, but you can bring your own beer. So we went downstairs and got some fancy wine, $27 bottle of wine, because <laughs> I'm cheap and that's the cheapest they have. <laughs> so Mr. T picked it. Yeah, this, How'd you hear about it? Um, actually, I lived down the street. Uh, I was like, oh, I've never seen Missy did a hot pot episode before. I was like, oh, let me give her a call, see if she want to try it with me. So, oh, right yeah. on. So walking in here, it's already, it smells like amazing, I think. Yeah. You can smell that beefy, beefy broth. Smell, yeah. yeah, so supposedly this place specializes in mostly beef, but you can get pork. So we got pork belly, and we got a different special set, because we don't really know what to get. And it's already got like a set, you get one choice of a meat and a bunch of vegetables that they give you, and you can either get ramen or rice porridge, which is interesting, because I've never heard of rice or porridge. So, um, we're gonna, I guess, chill and have some wine. <laughs> so you get to pick two broths. We chose the Beefy Wild and the Beefy Spicy. We got the Kami Toku set and also the Japanese set. Both are $28. You get to pick from an array of meats and then you get a bunch of different vegetables. The only difference with them are the vegetables of each set. And there's other things you can add if you want more meats, a la carte and then a la carte ramen, white rice, and other veggies and dumplings. You can get appetizers such as gyoza, tofu, and other things. And this is just a short run through the menu. So that's tea's hibiscus tea. I think it's cute with a little straw. Yeah. So, what do you think about the hibiscus tea? Oh, it's pretty good. What's it taste like? Does it taste flowery? Yeah. It does. It does. It's pretty cool. It's not overly sweet. But... Here's our pot. Wow. This is wild and this is spicy. Okay. okay. So, she said the creamy looking one is the beefy wild and that other one to the left is spicy. It's not as red as just a photo, so it might not be as bad as you thought. Yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too spicy. Uh, go ahead. Okay, so our meats came out and our veggies. So you get for each set these veggies and we ordered extra meat though. Okay, so I'm trying this wine. I don't even know the name of the wine. Oh, that's really small. Unshackled. From Fujioka. Um, apparently, it's bring your own beer or wine, so you can bring it in and they'll give you the wine glasses. And Fujioka's downstairs will open the wine bottle for you. So we got, I believe, black pork belly, brisket, and what do we get? Like Wagyu or some kind of yeah, special, Wagyu. yeah, Wagyu beef. I will say the portions are kind of small. Like that's the ramen you get. That's all the ramen you get. Really tiny. <laughs> um, it's either that or rice porridge. And you can buy a bowl of rice on the side. Ooh, it's getting steamy. Yeah. I will say though, for the price, to be honest, that's a very little amount of soup and meat. Yeah, we probably gonna have to just eat the meat first and then eat yeah. the broth <laughs> So, we threw in a bunch of shiitake mushrooms, but there's fried bean curd, some wonbok, some bok choy, and tofu, and a dumpling. Alright, here goes nothing. I'm gonna try this, looks like Mizuna. Mm. That broth 
broth is so good. It leaves like oiliness on your lips. Oh. It's full of beefy goodness. <laughs> yeah, that is some good broth. The wild beefy, that's what it's called. Mm. I don't know if the meat is pre-seasoned, but it's um, super tasty. I think this one's the pork because it's super fatty. Yes, sir. Oh, too spicy. I'm glad we didn't. Um, I'm glad we didn't just get that. All right, Terrence just tried it, the spicy one, and he really needed some like you something feel, to drink. You feel, you feel it on the back. Oh, like you put it in. I can smell it. I wonder, okay, my turn. You think red chili? Ooh. I can handle it, but I don't think I could continue eating it if we only got the spicy. It's got a like a cayenne pepper kick yeah, at the end. Kind of burns your throat. So this is our bubbling pot going. We're still going. Got we threw in some more veg and more meat. But yeah, that one is pretty lethal. So, and I like spice, but it's got a sharp, sneaky aftertaste. And that'll get you. Yeah, if you like spice though, you like that, yeah. So this is the ramen noodles you get. I'm glad we put the ramen in the um, yeah. mild one. Oh, that's spicy. Mm. And that beef broth is delicious. But it's got this a little hint of sweetness, right? Mm -hmm. The regular mild one. Yeah. It's beefy, but it's got a little tang of sweet, which is nice. So I got a kamo boku that comes with it, fish cake. I'm trying to stir the bottom, trying to bring it up. Mm. So this is the little bowls they give you to put your uh, stuff in, your food, when it's ready. That's our little dumpling. It kind of fell apart. But everything here is beef, so it's not like a pork dumpling, but it looks delicious. Some of my noodles, you get some glass noodles and my veg and more beef. So if you like beef, this is beef heaven. Alright! T is enjoying this. Yep. Sorry about the steam, but it's very steamy. Do you like all the meats and stuff? <laughs> How about the vegetables? Are they pretty good? It's pretty good. I'm here for the meat. You know, big guy like me, just give me the meat. How about the soups? What's yeah. your favorite out of the two? Even though the spicy is kind of hot, I'm getting uh, used to it, so I'm going over the spicy for this one. All right. I will say my favorite is the beefy wild. I think that's what it's called. But it's the creamy beef one. Um, and I don't think there's cream in it at all. It's just um, beef bones simmered so long that it becomes that gelatinous white um, broth. The only con is when it keeps boiling and they really give you a little amount of soup because it starts to get concentrated and it gets really, really salty. Um, and then you can see what's left after it boils, not much. So um, if you don't like salty things, you might not like this, but I thought it was very tasty. It's just uh, you gotta hurry up and eat it before it gets way too concentrated and reduces down to almost nothing. But otherwise, very good. It looks small, but I'm pretty content. I'm sorry, this is going to be a like one of those bonus middle of the week ones that are kind of short because when I'm usually with friends, we like to talk story and not so much film, so we just do the basics. Okay, so we have our rice porridge you get at the end of the meal. Our waitress is going to show us what to do.
take a look. And yeah, here's our rice porridge that she made for us. You like it? I'm not a rice guy, but yeah, this is pretty good. Probably because of the egg and stuff, yeah? Mm-hmm. I have to say, the broth kind of changes because she puts a different broth and mixes it with her existing broth. <laughs> so it's nice and sweet. It has good sesame seed flavor. And the egg gives it a nice richness. And if you're lucky and you get some leftover meat, then you're golden. I would say definitely get the rice porridge. It comes only at the end, but I think it's worth it. It's very delicious. Mm -hmm. Even Terrence likes it, and he does not like rice. Yeah, I don't like rice. <laughs> All right, we got round two. <laughs> it was actually filling, but um, we are just enjoying it so much, so we got more oyster mushrooms with our rice porridge and one more side of beef. But it is pretty filling. It looks like it's small, but it's actually not. It's, even Terrence is a big guy and he said he's, he's content and full. It looks small, but it's not. Alright, we're done. I am stuffed. That was delicious. Um, with the rice, it's actually awesome. I had ramen noodles. I would suggest rice with this because it's a little bit salty as it gets concentrated, like I said. But with rice, it's very, very good. We, like I said, had second of more beef and some more um, oyster mushrooms which Terrence had the first time of having oyster mushrooms and what was your experience? It reminded me of, we went to uh, Misty Fran's house and she's a vegan and she made like this burger but it was like a portobello mushroom and it tastes just like that. Yeah. Pretty, I like it. pretty meaty and yeah. delicious and all the veggies are fresh and the broth is just very different. And if you want to know facts about it, I'm reading it on their web page that their broth is unique because it comes from the Totori Prefecture and it has been uh, founded in a small town and doing this restaurant since 1949, Terrence. Holy moly. It's like 70 something years. Yeah. Yeah. Small town of Akasaki. And um, so they do ramen and then hot pot. So there's a long history and the same restaurant is still there in Akasaki in Totori. So if you are in Japan, you can go to the original. But I am glad they're here in Hawaii. There's two locations, except if you want a hot pot, it's only here in Market City and it just opened. The other one in Ward, like I said, is just ramen. So, um, like I said, bring your own beer. Um, there's no surcharge or anything. We had our wine. We're good. They gave the uh, glasses. Um, good soup. Like I said, at first it looks like small, um, the servings, but we're really content. And we kind of just went overboard with the <laughs> extra meat and uh, mushrooms. But um, actually, after we started eating, um, we told ourselves our eyes are bigger than our stomach because <laughs> too full and we had to force ourselves to finish the meat so definitely check it out if you're wanting to try a different kind of hot pot because like I said it has a nice sweet different kind of beefy broth other than other hot pots we've tried with a little bit of that sweet sesame taste so all in all very good so if you like this and it was informative and you want to try it come here to Kami Toku hot pot in Market City right next to Gina's and all the other famous places and um, make sure you get reservations though, it's very tiny in here and it's um, very popular obviously because it's very new. But we got reservations on Terrence, did you get it the same day? You called it in? Yeah, so same day, but just make sure you get it. That way you don't have to wait in line. And I heard the hype in the beginning was very big um, a week ago or so. The line, the wait was like three hours. But when we came here at six, and it's a week weekend, yeah. There was no line, uh, but it was kind of full inside, yeah, so definitely if you want to not wait and you're impatient, get a reservation. And it was easy to do, and get yourself a bottle of wine or some beer, bring your own beer, and enjoy the drinks and the food. So I'll see you next time on another food adventure. If you like this, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again. Peace out.